Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to remove index.php from our URLs and I'm also going to give you some notes on configuring XAMPP and WAMP server bundles so that CodeIgniter will work correctly. So by default we are going to have an index.php inside here. We have our root web folder here and then index.php and then our home controller and then a function of the controller which is another page on the site and by default these are only going to work like this with index.php here now I've already set this up so that this is going to work without it so if I remove this here that is going to work just fine and also the user info function that works fine too so I'm going to show you how to do this in this tutorial and also some notes on configuring a server bundle so that we don't have any problems about this. So just to give an overview of what I'm going to talk about in this tutorial, um, we're going to try and remove this index.php and the first thing I want to talk about is disabling UAC. So regardless if you're running a XAMPP or WAMP server bundle, it's going to be better for them if you have UAC disabled on your computer. Now Windows will recommend you not to disable this but for running these server bundles it is better that it's disabled so I'm going to show you how to disable that and if we go to our control panel and then user accounts and family safety and then click on user accounts and then click on change user account control settings and you can see that I have this set to the very bottom setting. Windows tells you it's not recommended, but you can do it anyways. And what is that's going to do is it's going to let um, the server bundles do whatever they need to do without needing to ask you for permission. Okay, and if they can't do something that they need permission for, then it's possible you run into some errors. So set that to the bottom one. You might have to um, restart your computer after it, but if it's not at the bottom one then set it to that. Um, I'm also going to give some notes on the curl extension for PHP and also mod rewrite. Now what I found is that by default um, everything when you install XAMPP for the first time everything is already set up so that this is going to work fine in CodeIgniter but the situation is not the same with WAMP so I'm just going to talk a little bit about um, these files so you have a better understanding about how they work and what is needed to be in place in order for this rewrite to work. So um, the first file we're going to look at is this php.ini. Now on XAMPP, this is in C XAMPP backslash php backslash php.ini. And on WAMP, I know that this is in two different places. It's in the it's in I believe it's in the bin folder, and then inside the bin folder there's an Apache and PHP folder, and there's a PHP so there's a PHP INI file for in the Apache folder and the PHP folder in in the WAMP server package, and in both of them you are going to want to have this line uncommented so that this extension is being used so. In WAMP, I believe that by default it's commented out, or sorry, it's commented. So you want to, if you're using WAMP, you want to uncomment that and you save this, and then you are going to want to restart your Apache server so that it's using this extension. Uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is also, regardless if it's um, WAMP or XAMPP server bundles. Um, now with XAMPP, I think everything's working fine, but with WAMP, you're going to want to um, pay attention to two different parts in this. So if we go to the top and then we search for, search for rewrite, it's going to take us right here. So you can see that these, these ones with the hashtag in front are commented out so it's not loading this module all these ones with hashtags in front are not being loaded but if there's no hashtag in front it's using it so in 
WAMP, you might need to remove this pound sign from in front of this line right here. So this is going to work. You're going to want to remove that. And the next part you're going to want to go to is you're going to want to search for allow override. And this is in a few different places. And you might need to set this to, um, to on. Let me just double check that. I've just checked and I believe that um, inside these directory tags this can be left how it is however there's another part of this file which is right here okay so it says allow override controls what directives can be placed in HD access files it can be all none or combination of whatever keywords and right now this is set to allow override all so if you're using WAMP and you see this isn't all, you want to set this to all. And if that doesn't work, then you could try setting uh, this part to, you could set this to all too, but um, I don't know that that's necessary. So right now, uh, my configuration is just like this. Um, right here under this options index is all this. It's allow override all and the rewrite is working just fine for my site. So um, make sure this is in place. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about is the HD access file. So in order for this rewrite to work, we are going to need to put a new file in the root directory of our server, and I'll show you where that goes. So I'm just going to close things up right here, and yeah, actually this isn't showing right here. Um, I believe I can there I can configure this to show it let me just see if I can do it right now and in Aptana we can go uh, we can go to customize view right here and we are going to let's try unchecking this dot resources here and I'll click OK now refresh. That's still not showing, but anyways, um, there is an HD access file, and I'll show it to you. Um, we'll go to XAMPP and then htdocs, our CI intro folder, and you can see that here there is an HD access file. Okay, so let's take a look at that, and I have it right here. Now, CodeIgniter recently made some changes, which was um, a file similar to this one with more comments in it used to be linked on their um, on their GitHub page and it was able to be copied and and downloaded with no problem but it's not there anymore I'm, I'm not sure why it's not there but I made this well I copied this from another uh, another source and I put this in here and this this will work well for your rewrites and I have put it I've put it on my server here on proceedcovers.com slash htaccess so if you can't find it on um, CodeIgniter site or on the github site you can go here and you can just copy that and you will so first copy that and then let's see Right. So anyways, you'll want to go into your um, your CI intro root folder and you'll create a file here which is .htaccess and you will paste all this in here and you'll save it. Now, depending on which um, folder name you're if your site is in a folder, you're going to want to put that inside here. If your site is not inside a folder, you will just remove this so it's like that okay but I have mine in the CI intro folder so I leave this like this okay and after you've done this you are going to need to restart Apache server so that all of these rules get applied to your site um, I just want to go back to the code for a moment and I'll show you some changes that I've made here so I've created so we had our index function before and this was loading the home function okay so if we went to 
the very root of our site here, it's going to load that home function. Okay, but how do we create more pages in Code Igniter? Well, one way to create another page is we just create another function inside this controller. So inside our home controller, we create another function and we give us the function name. And this name of the function is going to be, um, let's see, right so the name of here is our controller controller and then we have the function okay so we could create as many functions as we want inside the controller and this is all going to create new pages and if you've configured your if you've done your HT access right and you restart Apache server you should be able to do this or like this and it should work just fine okay the last thing I want to talk about is the config.php file so if you go to your config folder and then config.php what you want to do is you want to scroll down to the config array and then the index page element and you want to set this to an empty string in order for these rewrites to work now um, by default this will have index.php here and I've removed it and we just saw that everything was working fine actually I was doing some testing and everything was still working fine for me with this still inside so we can mess around here anyways we can see that worked and we put the user info function back and that was working fine okay but the usual practice is we should remove this. Okay, so just remove that there, and hopefully everything's working for you. Thanks for watching.